Hi friends, I have kind of decided to start trying to use Net Galley, same, I almost forgot what it was called, because I had to use it for Actrage Eve Brown. And I realized that there was obviously like a bunch of things I hadn't done on that profile. Cause like I basically kind of just vaguely set it up in 2018 and then just did nothing with it. <laughs> I think I was approved for two books out of nowhere um, and then didn't read either of them or I read a bit of one of them which I did read last year actually in the end so yeah I've had to add things to my profile like a bit more in the bio and a picture and my links and giving some feedback on some books that I have read or tried to read or whatever um, and adding like the books I'm interested in the genres and shit I don't know I don't know, I don't know. And I've got a couple of like previews that are just like automatically okayed yeah. there it is oh <laughs> thank you thank you you have porridge on your foot Looking out the window. Look at the wet nose. Are you looking out the window? Oh, oh my god. remember what I was saying. I was thinking of vlogging the like reading previews. So far I've got two. I think I'm currently at like a 50% ratio. I think I need to get to 80 so we'll see. I'll give feedback on those when I've read them and hopefully I'll be approved for some others. Who knows? And there's loads of books I have like requested and wished for because they're just like books I've heard so much about. I'm like please please because I have no money or I cannot buy a book when it comes out yet so yeah there we go I guess that's gonna be my weekend week I don't know we'll see how I go okay chapter one of Ace of Spades Devon's point of view this is one of my most anticipated books basically for the year it was in my blog post of books I want to read more of um in 2021 if I if I have it definitely has because I was reading Gossip Girl last year and like even though it's first person point of view it definitely has like a feel of of Gossip Girl like book the book's writing but also I can't like think specifically what what's coming to mind when I'm reading about this school because it's like a dark academia spooky rich kid kind of school I think vaguely like that Winx Club <laughs> show is the first thing that's coming to mind at the moment i can't think of anything else that i that has that sort of a setting at the moment but there is i think another chapter to read so i'll probably remember and say it in my next clip but we're loving the gaze 
that's it so I've just finished that I'm now at 67% from 50 it seems to be a two 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 person point of view book which I wasn't aware of but I mean I assumed after the first chapter being titled Devon that it would be more than one person's point of view she is very Blair from Gossip Girl-esque and so are her little minions they're very similar to that dynamic which I love I love that shit um and then like the cliffhanger of where the sneaky peek ends is so rude of just like a, a picture is circulating about Devon already like he just got <laughs> he just got this fucking badge and he's already like in drama here for it I really can't wait to read the full thing like I literally gave it a five out of five because I think it's <laughs> literally everything I love about reading at the moment kind of thrillery mystery drama dark academia gay you know everything okay so rule of walls is the other well hello what's it called sample i was reading and i just it's i think it's a fantasy because it's got that really i don't know i just realized the fucking washing machine's going go for it i just don't get along with flowery fantasy language but it's also kind of like medieval not for me so um i also just can't even follow it because of that i'm not really sure what's happening it's kind of boring kind of slow but i'm gonna try and finish the 100 pages so i can like leave a review yeah i kind of need that percentage to go up on that galley <laughs> it's two minutes later probably not even that i can't read it so i'm just gonna like say it wasn't for me and give it like a three you know i <laughs> hope that's okay because it's not that i think it's bad it's just not to my reading preferences and generally i didn't oh, as well it's a second book in a series i've literally never read anything by this writer i didn't know what i was in for to be honest so there we go never mind <laughs> well at least my ratio is now at 83 percent um hopefully i'll fucking get some books that I'm more interested in reading. Blech. Pardon me. Oh, hi. <laughs> um, there are loads I was really interested in, but um, I was denied one that I kind of don't even remember requesting, not gonna lie. And that's when I realized I didn't have anything on my profile. <laughs> And I had like a low feedback percentage, so never mind. At least it was like relatively easy because I'm very new to this to get the feedback rating up to like a decent standard. So we'll see. Let's see what else comes up. I'm gonna have another browse and see if there's any sneak peek preview kinds of things available still, and we'll go from there. So I'm confusion. <laughs> After that last clip, I'd gotten my like review percentage 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 score to like 83 to 7 I can't remember then I was approved for an arc that I had requested or wished for or something and now it's dropped down to 22% and saying that I've only reviewed two out of nine things which is just not correct so I've sent a picture of that to like the net galley support team like this isn't correct it was literally just saying i'd reviewed like maybe six things my percentage was way higher and now i've been approved for an arc understandably it would change until i review that arc but not that much because i have definitely reviewed more than two things so i'm very confused um we'll see what happens but I've got some like boring life things to do this weekend. So I don't know when I'm gonna start trying to read this arc. I can't even remember what it's called right now. Neurodivergent brain, I apologize. But like, you know, I'll let you know. I'll let you know. It looked like a cool book. The cover was cool. I like the colors. Um, <laughs> can't remember what it was about. <laughs> Loving life. <laughs> but I mean, I'll be back, I'll be back. Everyone came home when I was in the middle of talking about it. I don't know what's up. Oh, oh God. I don't know what's up with that. Why NetGalley has it written in one way and Goodreads has it written in another. 
that was my main feedback of like mm, you need to get on top of this marketing thing because like it's not appropriate to be misgendering a trans character so i don't know if that's something that they deal with but it was feedback i gave them so we'll, we'll, what's that? we'll see yeah. Yeah. i have made a mistake oh i have ice cream on my chin <laughs> i've made a mistake so after i did all that shit for net galley to boost the ratings i also got feedback from their help team people so they fixed the ratings that wasn't showing correctly but also i've been approved for four four more books since uh my update i think luckily one of them was like a short poetry slash workbook i've got Dogs of Devtown by Taylor Ho Hulin, which I did start reading today on the 22nd of February this morning. It's fine. It's like pretty stereotypical, written by a man, sci-fi, cyberpunk kind of world. Like literally it is, my brain is imagining that video game that came out not long ago that was a mixture of like highly transphobic and really really laggy apparently um but the image in my mind is what i saw when i watched like let's plays then i've got no gods no monsters which i'm actually really excited to read by cadwell turnbull so this is a black writer as well which i didn't know when i requested it i it was solely based on the Hello? Brain! Not the plot, but like, you know, the thing you read. <laughs> Blurb, kind of, I guess. It's kind of like a black point of view of a werewolf story, finally, <laughs> to be honest. We, there are too many white people writing werewolf stories and like generally supernatural stories which is why i'm also absolutely popping for all these black witches uh there are so many books about black witches at the moment and i'm absolutely living for it because again there's way too many white bitches out here stealing cultures and calling it paganism or wicca you know <laughs> you don't need to steal into someone else's culture to be a witch okay i am proof bye um sorry I'm off track i'm i've had i've had a day if i start talking about it i will never tell you about any of these fucking books so yeah one october morning lena gets sorry it's not fucking big enough i can't read it lena gets the news that her brother was shot and killed by boston cops but what looks like a case of police brutal brutality soon reveals something much stranger monsters are real and they want everyone to know it as creatures from myth and legend come out of the shadows, seeking safety through visi visibility, their emergence sets off a chain of seemingly unrelated events. Members of, members of a local werewolf pack are threatened into silence. A professor follows a missing friend's trail of breadcrumbs to a mysterious secret society, and a young boy with unique ability seeks refuge in a pro-monster organisation with secrets of its own. Meanwhile, more people start disappearing, suicides and hate crimes <laughs> increase, and protests erupt, erupt globally, both for and against the monsters. At the centre is a mystery no one thinks to ask. Why now? What has frightened the monsters out of the dark? The world will soon find out. So you know, like not only is it topical oh my god it's also on the lgbt i did not know that either hell yeah hell yeah this is like the second accidental gay book i picked up i think it was ace of space but i didn't read the whole thing so yeah um i'm really excited to be reading that one i just read the poetry book because it was short so i was like if i can just fucking get this out of the way and i did really enjoy it but for fuck's sake white people 
again, cultural appropriation. <sighs> like, I, I was having a really great time. A Little Sunshine and a Little Rain, a poetry journal. So it's like a mixture of a poetry book and a workbook for writers. And it was great. Except on one page, the art, illustration, design is a dream catcher. To me, this is common knowledge. That is not for white people. This is a white woman from the UK. So that's what I put in my feedback that I enjoyed it a lot, except I don't, I don't fuck with the cultural appropriation. Can you stop it? I got a bit too taken away, <laughs> away in the moment and I actually turned my phone off. <laughs> but you know, can't fucking enjoy anything. And the book I've just been um, approved, sorry, I was trying to type it in because I've already forgotten I have <laughs> no brain ever, is She Memes Well, a book of essays by Quinta Brunson, who I used to watch. Oh, sorry. I've just eaten an ice cream and my dinner and I think all this talking and energy that suddenly come back into my body is making me want to vomit everywhere so excuse me but um I used to watch her on BuzzFeed like I'm sure most of you did too um I always found her really funny and really talented and also she's really pretty so um you know it was just on net galley and I was kind of like you know what fuck it up here this was before I sorted out my score as well. Um, and I've just been approved for it. So generally, very excited to read her um, book of essays from comedian Quinta Brunson comes a deeply personal and funny collection of essays featuring anecdotes about trying to make it when you're broke, overcoming self-doubt and depression and how she's used humour to navigate her career in unusual directions. Development, I'm going to stop there. I am slurring my words um, and I can't read. Because it's essays, I feel like I can probably cut this one. Um, I feel like I can read this book in pieces a bit easier um, because it's made that way. Um, and you know me, I am a non-fiction bitch in a lot of aspects. So... You know, I'm actually really, I'm really excited to read that one too, Black Woman author. So even though I'm not necessarily reading the books that I wrote about in my blog post uh, in January, I think, um, about books I, would, I want to read more of this year, um, I am still fulfilling the um, types of books through categories because, yeah, so I've read... Actor Age Eve Brown, which is a black author, black main character, and disabled. I will have read this, so this would be a black woman author. That other book that I mentioned, I've already forgotten the name of, <laughs> about the werewolves. Um, a black male author. He might be queer. I'll have to look that up. But that something about the story is queer. Apparently, I read a trans children's book, and I mean, Ace of Spades is written by a black woman I don't, she might be queer i haven't <laughs> i've not really looked <laughs> can't remember my brain is like mushy peas i want to continue reading the whole thing but that'll be i oh actually to be fair get a life eve brown is maybe vaguely on the side of us uh, as well like fat kind of maybe but like either way she's not really skinny she's definitely got like curves and it is not a bad thing to either of the people involved in that love story um so it does come under that section as well um a lot of these are just accidents <laughs> uh i'm also reading book by and about a black queer trans man trans non-binary person i'm not sure if the book is a trans man or non-binary person for a book tour well the book tour is may i don't know when i'm reading the book yet it might be kind of obvious what the book is but i won't say it yet <laughs> but i found that out today as well and i was very excited <laughs> very, very excited about that one so uh <laughs> i have so many books to read 
<laughs> I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Oh. So I've just written up what I've read so far in February for whenever I decide to do another like reading wrap up video. Because uh, I find writing the list is more useful. Because I often I, I film on my cam. Hello, I film on my phone which is also where I keep a lot of my notes for the most part um, and a lot of books I read if they're physical and I didn't care for them very much I often get rid of them like right away same with books like DNF um, but also this month I've read quite a few ebooks I guess arcs e e arcs so I feel like it, that makes it more likely for me to forget what ones will be on this list. But um, yeah, I've just realised that I'm two books away from matching my January's score of 12 books read, which is kind of crazy. I mean, like, I guess, you know, one of them was a sneak peek of a book, but it's counted towards my total and I'll take it. I'll take it. Some of these books are really long as well. Or I've also spent like extra time trying to read other books I just didn't get on with as well. Um, so I'll take the extra score, you know. It's my reading challenge. I do what I want to, you know. It's just funny because at the end of January, maybe early this month in February, I remember talking about this and like the fact that last year I read 50 books. This year I started at 12 and I read 12 in the first month and I made a joke about wow I basically have to read the same amount of books plus one to then reach my second Goodreads goal but I've upped it to 25 and if I continue reading 12 books a month which I don't expect for a start but also I didn't expect to do it this month either because I had a really long like break I don't know, it felt long. I've had such a rough month, pardon me, that I just kind of did not expect to get this much reading done at all. Yeah, having written it out, I'm actually like low key excited about that. Um, but I might put off the wrap up video for like another month and see what I read in March as well and just do a wrap up early. Oh my god, my eyeball. April, maybe late March. Probably early April. I don't I don't like doing things at the end of the month. I need every single day. <laughs> yeah, I just I was just kinda of surprised by that. Oh and one of them was like a kid's picture book, so <laughs> and a po and a few poetry books and some manga, but like I said, it's my it's my reading challenge. I do what I want. I deserve it. I'm definitely getting tired, my eye hurts. This is where I'm going to end my net galley reading vlog video. What? What did I just say? I'm going to end that video here. A little roundup. So I have finished. I mean, I finished this book before I started this, but Actor A. G. Brown, the Ace of Spades chapter preview. My Sister Daisy, which was the transgender um, children's book. Um, a Little Sunshine, A Little Rain, which was a poetry book. I also finished You Don't Have To Be Everything, which was another poetry book I didn't even get to mention because I, my life has not been <laughs> smooth sailing in the last couple of weeks. So that was another poetry book I read that was aimed at teenage women, kind of, teenage girls. For the most part, I enjoyed it, but there were a couple of moments where that, that were a little bit uh, bio-essentialist and not like other girls kind of vibe and I was like eh, considering this is supposed to be a book for all teenage girls including trans girls and possibly non-binary teenagers these two poems don't really fit the scheme of that um but otherwise for the most part a lot of the poems were really lovely and I it was something that I would have liked to have read as a teenager um, the books that I am still working on, I haven't finished yet, are The Dogs of Devtown, which is the cyberpunk kind of thing. Um, I'm trying to work on that one mostly, 
because that has the earliest like publishing date. No gods, no monsters. I'm leaving that for a while because the publishing date is in September. Um, she memes well, I got to about 50%. I'll talk more about that one in another video, but I have been enjoying it. There was maybe one chapter so far that I just kind of didn't really care much for, but other people might enjoy it. Um, and then also Earth Detox. I was mostly just curious what this was going to say because it seems to be about how you can help the environment. It's kind of like, it's a uh, hundred companies doing 80% of the damage to the world, but okay. Seeing as it's, you know, free for me, I wanted to have a read of it and then make a decision that way and be able to give my opinions about it of whether it's a waste of money or not. But yeah, there we go. <laughs> Let me know what you thought of this video. Would you like to continue seeing me uh, reading and reviewing net galley arcs or is that something that you're not particularly interested in or are you only interested depending on the topic of the book you know leave a comment down below let me know what it is that you are in the mood for leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel i make bookish content talk about gay things um and being disabled come back for more i'll see you next week bye